Hey guys, here's a quick video on how I created my YouTube intro. I downloaded this kit from Etsy and I'm just going to go to download it here in my files. I'm going to click download on all of these and go to my finder and save them to a folder and then click on the first one to be able to access those intro files. This is going to open up in Canva. If you don't have a Canva account, it's free. You create it, log in, you're good to go. So there's a couple slides here that really aren't needed. It's slide number three and four that are the intro slides. You can pick which one you want to use. I'm going to use this first one. I'm going to start deleting some things that I'm not going to use. Changing the colors on things to my branding colors. Um, it's easy to add in if you know the exact like RGB um, code for your branding colors. It's easy to add those in. Mine's been in here. I've used Canva a bunch. So I'm going to pull in my logo and get that to where it'll be right there in the middle, kind of move it around a little bit. And then I'm going to delete some other things um, around in there that I just know I'm not going to use. And sometimes it can be a little tricky to move stuff around. So you may have to zoom in. I'm going to delete this here and put rhinestone tumblers right under here. And then I'm going to delete some stuff off to the side. I'm going to add my website down below. Size some things around, move them around, just make sure everything's centered. And I noticed that there's this little like Instagram symbol right there that I forgot to delete. And oh well, it's there now. <laughs> I'll have to change it later. But I'm going to delete this black strip there and zoom back out kind of move everything around a line will pop up you'll notice as i'm moving stuff around that is to tell you if it's centered um, based on the size of the screen as well as centered with other objects that are in the view as well so i added my website down below and changing the colors to my branding colors on that and just double checking that i've got everything in the right colors now i'm going to start deleting these little pictures i'm not going to want all of these there for my normal videos but i am going to keep this one and i'm going to resize it to be more of a rectangle for like the size of a picture so i'm going to go ahead and size that slide it over make sure it's centered and then i'm going to change the color of it to the green of my branding and then i'm going to duplicate it and i'm going to change this one to be white and i'm going to size it to be a little bit smaller than that green one so i can um, be able to add a picture here and then it'll have like a border around it and um, just making sure everything's centered and even, resizing it if needed. And then I'm going to delete the stuff off to the right. And once you click on something, it'll the little delete button will pop up. You can also right click on it and delete as well. So I'm going to get all that deleted and then I'm going to duplicate these over here and put them over there. Zoom it in to be able to grab that green one. Duplicate it. And then I'm going to send it to the back. I'm going to right click on it, go to layer, and then be able to send backwards. And then be able to slide that around and make sure that's all lined up and centered correctly. And just dragging and dropping those. Just making sure everything is lined up. You can bring in any other pictures. You can bring in text. You can bring in any other logos believe you can even bring in videos you can link it to your um, Instagram account and be able to access stuff that you already have there which is really cool so now I'm gonna add some text you can even add your brand fonts but you do have to have pro for that so I'm just gonna add a little bit of body text and slide it over to this right sided rectangle to be able to change that I'm gonna title this in this video this is where I'll be able to summarize what the tutorial is about. So when somebody pulls it up to watch, they immediately know what they're going to be learning in this video. I liked the font of the rhinestone tumbler, so I saw that it was Oswald. So I'm going to go ahead and change this font to Oswald as well. Make sure it's centered. And then I am going to just kind of look at everything. See if I want to adjust anything. Move it stuff up and down. Now I'm going to add some animation to this. I'm going to do that by going to animate at the top. And there are some already some preset animations that you can click on that will go ahead and show you the, what the animation would look like on the whole page. You can also animate specific items or anything like that. But I just like to keep everything the same. So I do the page one. There's some different ones here. Tectonic, scrapbooks, really fun. 
Um, but I typically like more simple stuff. So I'm going to go up here to sleek and do sleek. And it kind of gives you a preview of what it looks like. Now I'm going to change it to 20 seconds because when I'm doing a tutorial, I'm going to want to talk about what's in the video. And I think 20 seconds is a good time to be able to do that. You can also adjust it to 30 seconds as well. Now we're going to download it. To do that, you click share at the top right. You're going to select just the page that you want to download. That In this instance, it's page three. And we're going to click download. This is going to download as an MP4 video. So like a dot movie video. I'm on a Mac, so it's going to download in dot MOV. And then I can upload it um, to my phone, uh, to iCloud, to be able to pull it to my phone. I can email it to me. If you have any editing software on your computer, you can do that as well. It is a high quality video, so it does take just a few seconds to download. And then you're going to be able to save it into the folder that you want to save it in. So it's going to pop up here at the bottom that it's been downloaded. And so I'm going to click show all and show in finder and then drag and drop to my YouTube branding folder that I've created. Double click on it to open it and then we can watch it. And then here it is. So let's say you've, um, you've filmed a tutorial, you're done, you've got your pictures done and you want to be able to add a picture of your Tumblr into the left box as well as describe what the video is about. So you'll upload that to Canva and you're going to resize it into your little rectangle by just grabbing the little edges and pulling them. And then we're going to add what this video is about. I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate that so the size of it's the same as well as the font is the same. And then I'm going to just going to briefly describe what this video is about in this instance. It would be how to write rhinestone a tumbler using a rhinestone pattern how to follow that everything you need as well as what supplies you need in order to do that so i'm going to duplicate that again just by clicking on it and the little duplicate button comes up you can also right click and click duplicate as well and so here i'm typing in where to purchase the supplies used to make this tumbler once that is done, I'm going to make sure everything is sized correctly and the lined up correctly. Zoom out, make sure everything looks good. And then we're going to save it the exact same way. So we're going to go to share, then download. We're going to select page three only. And then we're going to click download again. It is going to download it just like it did the first time. And then we'll be able to save it into the same folder again. And then you will have your intro video to be able to upload to like uh, KineMaster is a good one. I know you can use just Movie, you can use Adobe, different things like that to be able to add to intros to your YouTube video. This bundle also came with an outro as well. Um, so you would do it the same way. You would click the additional link on that little pop-up that came up that we downloaded. Um, you would click on that and then you would be able to do your outro as well. So it's downloaded. We're going to go ahead and put that into our folder by dragging and dropping. And then I'm going to keep both so it'll rename it as a copy. And then we're going to double click on it and then we're going to watch it. And then everything has the animation to it. And it's there. It'll be 20 seconds long. So it'll give you time to describe everything about your video. I hope you learned something. Have a good day.